There's this uh, quote from Anne of Green Gables, which was a book I loved growing up. Isn't it nice that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? I love that waking up, starting fresh, and you know, getting sort of the whole day ahead of you. Hello, I'm Natalie Enright Jurger, and I'm a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering at the University of Toronto. I'm also the director of the Division of Engineering Science. My work focuses on computer architecture, which is the design and optimization of processors. Today we're in a lecture hall in the Galbraith building on the St. George campus, and this is a lecture hall where I would often teach uh, some of my undergraduate courses. So the work that I do in the field of computer architecture, if you think about the cell phone that's in your pocket, the compute capability that that has and all the things that you do with it, decades ago, a computer like that would have taken up a whole room and done not nearly as much. It would have been much slower, would have had much less capabilities. And so what I do as a computer architect is we take the basic building block of computers, which is a transistor, and we use them to build smaller, faster, cheaper, and lower power computing devices for cell phones, for uh, desktops, and for data centers. I knew engineering was for me fairly early on. I had a really good friend, her father was an engineer, and he had a home computer, which in the mid-80s was relatively unusual to have a personal computer, and so I was over at her house all the time. We'd play computer games together, and I think it really stuck because both she and I went on to become computer engineers, and we were just really seven, eight years old, totally fascinated by this sort of foreign device that she had at home. How I got where I am today, so my grandfather, he coached college baseball and he had this really remarkable relationship with the players that he coached and he was just this really fantastic mentor and it really inspired me. I thought this is the kind of job I want and these are the kind of relationships I want to build in my adult life. And Possessing absolutely no athletic ability whatsoever, I thought that I couldn't go the coach route, so I decided I would go the professor route and, and have that sort of relationship and impact with students. The research question that drives me right now is thinking about the intersection of global climate change and my field of, of computer architecture. Together with my grad students, we're looking at how we can improve the carbon footprint and environmental impact of computing. So this includes things like the manufacturing of computing devices and the various resources, energy, water, various um, chemicals and elements that are needed in that manufacturing process, all the way through to the running of those devices and the types of power that is used to, to run those devices in things like server farms and data centers. What I love most about the U of T engineering community is the students. They're intelligent, curious, passionate, kind. You know, these students are going to change the world, and it's just such a privilege to be part of that journey with them.